How are you guys? This is Tommy Bass and today we are going to talk about upcoming BL series of October 2024. Year 2024 is an amazing year for BL fans because of the variety of genre that can be seen. These BL series looks very interesting and I'm waiting for them. If I missed any series then please comment down to let me know. So before we start the video please like, subscribe and share my channel for more content like this. Now I won't bother you guys more. So let's get started. Heavens and Candy Heavens Candy is a pure love story about a shy young man who falls in love with an AV actor he met through fan activity. The films revolve around the story of Takato, a reclusive 2D anime otaku, who visits a cafe after attending a fan event for the hit anime Heavens Candy. However, he forgets his wallet and leaves without paying. A popular adult video actor Towa, who happens to be at the cafe for the same reason, covers his bill. The next day, Takato returns to the cafe with the money and meets Towa again. After visiting a lighthouse, a pilgrimage site for fans, Towa's insistent suggestions leads them to another pilgrimage site, a love hotel. There, Towa reveals that he is an AV actor and Takato shares why he became a recluse. Mukai Riku has been doing a lot of PL projects in these recent years. To think that he was originally one of the highest paid and most popular straight adult star in Japan and now he seems to do so much BL and queer content is so much different. I'm so curious about this film as it seems to be another pink film from Japan. Forever You Easter who moves away to study and forget an unresolved love only to unexpectedly reunite with Hill, reigniting old feelings. Meanwhile, his roommate North wakes up after a drunken ball, now in debt, and finds himself dealing with his flirty creditor, Johan. The official trailer looks so cute. I think I'm really going to love this series when it finally comes out. Pond looks absolutely hot in this role. I can't wait to see him in another BL because I love his voice so much. Uncle Unknown The story of the Lu family's young master Lu Shirin who reunited with his missing ex-boyfriend Chi Yi and discovered that he was actually the uncle he had never met. Facing Chi Yi's pressing step by step, Lu Shirin keeps retreating. How can the two break the taboo and reunite with each other? This looks very interesting and demure. I really like forbidden romance, I am a sucker for it. I was really craving something good, Taiwanese dramas has something special, I will definitely watch this one. Every You, Every Me Jade and Chen are destined to meet and fall in love across multiple lifetimes, but each time their story ends differently. As they face the final chance to rewrite their fate, will they be able to change their ill-fated endings and create a lasting happy one? The premise looks good and very interesting. It better be as good as the cast looks. I love the actors together, they are very cute. Looks like October will be packed for me. I am really looking forward to this one. Love in the Big City Characterized by her sharp tongue and daring attitude, Jaehee is always at the center of gossip and hateful rumors. Meanwhile, Hyung Soo is set on keeping his gay identity a secret for his life. One day in the back alley of the hotel, Jaehee discovers Hyung Soo's secret by chance. Contrary to Hyung Soo's worry, Jaehee keeps his secret and even helps him in a critical moment. As the two misfits begin to rely on each other, they secretly move in together and attempt to find love in the prejudiced world they live in. Love in the Big City is a contemporary coming-of-age flick and its interests are commercial with an intent to shift audience perspective. Its commerciality seems to work in tandem with the bitterness of the upcoming series to help a closed-off audience empathize and care for queer characters. It's not exactly revolutionary but its ambition lies in creating a feminist and queer narrative in a neat clean package. Eccentric Romance 
Minwoo and Songun are friends for 10 years. They are both hiding their feelings from each other, which is more than friend, and enter the same university and take the essential liberal arts class together. However, the two heard about the recent murder in the city on the day a man named Jinwook appeared, who is the criminal. It is another South Korean and Thai collaboration. I heard that it is R rated, but it might be a rumor. Mystery, murder, romance, and BL. I'm totally in. I am just wishing they don't mess it up like love is like a cat. I am excited to see this one. For international release, stay tuned for more update. Love in the Big City An audacious tale of two roommates, one a gay man and another a straight woman, through the eyes of Mie begins Go Young's clumsy love story. Stories of laughter, tear, wants becomes a mother in denial of her son's sexuality and his being unable to escape societal judgment. Go Young finally meets a pure love like no other, Kyu Ho, but has no choice but to let him go. With Kyu Ho gone, Go Young follows a stranger to Thailand and spends a late monsoon vacation, reminiscing about the good old days that can never be retrieved. He achieves complete personal growth. Love in the Big City consists of 8 episodes, each with a runtime of 40 minutes, and was filmed in both South Korea and Thailand. The drama is set to premiere on October 21 on TV Inc. There's no news on international release yet, but damn, I'm so excited. I heard the actor had to kiss 15 men, uh, but not the all scenes are included. Perfect Propose Dream Edition the original Perfect Proposal is a popular BL series. The story depicts the thrilling cohabitation life of two protagonists, Hiro Kuni who is pressured by his abusive boss at work and he stays unable to sleep, and a cool younger man with excellent housekeeping skills soothes his tired mind with the delicious meals. The movie Perfect Proposal Dame Edition is a re-edited version of the drama Perfect Proposal. It has been announced to be released in theatres in Japan from October 25th. I imagine there will be a little wait after that for streaming unfortunately. See you. Chen Yu and Chi Pang are best friends, but they face challenges when Chi Pang unexpectedly vanish on his 16th birthday. Upon Chi Pang's return, Chi and Yu discovers he is the only one who can see him. Amid these unusual circumstances, the two seize the opportunity to reveal the secret they have been keeping in their hearts, embarking on a journey of self-discovery. Two best friends embark on a journey of a self-discovery and seize the chance to reveal their deepest desires. The coming of age film See You will premiere on October 25 on Catch Play. No news on international release yet. Stealing from my CEO 13 years ago, Chen's adopted younger brother Kang ran away after a heated argument and never returned, leaving Chen in a state of depression. Chen later changed his name to Lucas and became a successful CEO. Nana, posing as Gang's biological sister, manipulated Lucas' guilt to convince him to get engaged to her. Unbeknownst to Lucas, Gang was taken in by a family of thieves after he ran away, and his next target for a heist is none other than Lucas and Nana's new house. The story also features a love triangle between Lucas, Gang, and gang's new thieving brother Crane. China is not giving up on bales, although they might be low budget, but I like to watch them. This bale consists of 60 episodes of 2 minutes, a total of 2 hours, which is fine. The trailer is funny, I don't know, awkward maybe. It is another stepbrother troupe, I don't understand why all are so obsessed with this, but I am no different. See your love. Ji Xiong, a third generation here, who is reluctant to take over the family business, he forms an unexpected bond with the hearing impaired caregiver. Heartstopper. 
Nick and Charlie's relationship deepens and our favorites will face their biggest emotional challenges yet. The highly anticipated season 3 of Heartstopper is going to be premiered on October 3 on Netflix. I am quite excited. I am packed this October. Let's free the curse of Taekwondo. Joo Young reunites with his long lost first love Dohi, whom he has been desperately searching for at a funeral after 12 years. It feels like everything is cursed. 12 years ago, the two of them shared a tender love, empathizing with each other's wound. How did they end up estranged from each other? Dohi, who found his own dream instead of Taekwondo as he desired, and Joo Young, who still does Taekwondo. Can they break the curse of the past now, 12 years later? So that's it for today's video guys. I know that these are not the only good ones so there are more videos to come in the future. Wait for it. Hope you guys liked it. Again, if I miss some of your favorite series then please comment down to let me know. I will make another video for it. Now you can also join my channel through membership to get various perks at the various levels. So please do check it out. Like my video, share and subscribe my channel for more. Bye bye.